everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Nobody's Beauty Guru. Today I am here with a Stars and Strikes video. Today we will be talking about skincare, something that I have found a new love for and appreciation for because I don't get any younger as the years pass. I know. It's shocking. We're going to talk about some of the things that I found that have worked really, really, really well for me and some things that I did not think worked well for me or I don't think are worth the price point even if they do work. Sometimes it's very hard to tell if something is actually working. We get these little tiny samples and that's not enough time to really test it out and that might be all you ever test of that particular brand or that product. So skincare is one of those things where you need to have prolonged use to see any kind of benefits. And if you see benefits right off the bat, then that's amazing but a lot of the times we don't. I'm gonna to talk to you about the things that I've continued to repurchase that I use nightly, daily, morning, etc., and let you know what I use and I think works best for my skin type. Remember, that does not mean that it's gonna work best for everybody's skin type. I have combination normal skin. I don't have particularly oily or particularly dry skin. It's very combo normal. If you have very oily or very dry skin, these might not work for you. If you have average skin, then they might. I'm gonna start off with some face masks. First up, I will talk about a fave, and one of my stars is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mud Mask. This has like a tingle to it. I really do feel like this cleans the pores and leaves my skin very glowy. If you have any openness on your skin, if you've popped a blemish, something like that, it can burn a little bit. Even when it gets down into your pores, you can feel it almost sting a bit, not uncomfortably, but you know it's on your face. And to me, that means it's working. I don't know why, but I just feel like that it has to be working if I feel that way. I really, really like this. I'm almost done it. So this is just something that I've naturally panned. Then a repurchase is the Lush Mask of Magnum Inti. This is a green mask with giant chunks in there. It's the peppermint oil in this that again, gives your skin that tingle, like it's really, really working. I put this all over my face let it dry down a little bit, and then I put water on and I use it to scrub and exfoliate and then rinse it off. My skin always feels great. I just, I love this one. So I probably will not be repurchasing once I'm done this because I've realized that I just don't go through them the way that I thought I did. I do think that this is a really great face mask if you're into Lush. I know that there's tons of Lush debates. People love it, people hate it, people want to go there, people don't want to go there. I probably will not continue to repurchase from Lush, but what I do have, I will use no problem. So this is one of their the face masks that I really do love from there. And this can also be used all over your body just to exfoliate as well. So this one is a good one. Let's go into some face products that before we get to skincare. I really, really love this Fresh Soy Cleanser. This is not one that I purchased. I don't believe Fresh is cruelty free, but I've gotten a ton of these samples in subscription boxes and in your birthday present from Sephora, I think also came with it. And I gotta tell you, I really love this cleanser. It's a really, really good cleanser. This is really gentle. It works really well. It removes all the impurities and makeup from my skin after I use a makeup wipe. My skin feels really nice afterwards, so I definitely really like that one. And then one that I'm still using right now, and this is for normal to oily skin, this is the Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Clay Cleanser with pore perfecting and removing excess oils and minimizing pores. This one I've been using after the soy one went out. This one was also a sample. I don't know Sunday Riley's status. I really enjoy this one too. So just throwing that one out there. My Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner. After I clean my skin or after a face mask, I always use this on a cotton round. I've repurchased this three, four, five. It's ridiculous how many times I've repurchased this, but it's so good. I really, really like this for just deep cleaning my pores, closing them back up again after I've purified them, etc. I just think this works really well. Also particularly love, like I could go down into my bag of empties, it's next to me and pull out so many of these, but the Mario Badescu Rose Water and Aloe Spray. This is phenomenal. I do not use this to set my makeup, although I know some people do. What I use this for is before I put on my moisturizers at night and after I put on my moisturizers at night. So I'll do like a quick mist on my face then at the beginning, 
put on my serums, my moisturizers, let it sit for a little couple minutes, put it on the spray again. I just feel like it helps my skin soak it up really well. I also will use this after coming home from a really long day or I'm just hot or I feel like my makeup needs to be refreshed. If I've had my makeup on all day and then I want to sit down to film, I'll spray this on really quick and use this as not like a setting spray, but a refresher. I love this stuff. It is so, so good. Let's get into some actual moisturizers and face products. Now, mind you, I have a rotating collection of different samples that I've had from either gift sets, subscription boxes. I haven't bought a moisturizer in forever. A lot of the ones that I use are ones that I use for a short amount of time and I don't really form strong opinions on. They work just fine, but they are what they are. I'm not gonna go spend my money on them. What I have in front of me are ones that I've spent my own money on and that I know I enjoy and I have used religiously for a long time. One of the oils that I love is the Josie Moran Argan Oil light. I use this in my hair. I use this on my cuticles. I also use this on my face. This is the only oil that I feel comfortable putting on my face. I will do a spray of the rose water and then when my skin's still a little bit damp, I'll take a couple drops of this and just smooth it all over my face and my face feels amazing. So this is the only oil I will use on my face. The only product that I still purchase that is not cruelty free that I just can't get away from because I haven't found anything else that I like as much. And that is my Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion PM Night Serum. This is a retinol serum that I use at night. This feels like heaven on your face. It makes your skin feel like silk. I can't even explain to you what this feels like on your face. I use one or two drops. It goes all over your face. It glides on so beautifully. It leaves my skin so soft, so refreshed. I see a noticeable difference in my wrinkles, in my skin texture in general, in the like moisture of my skin when I wake up in the morning. So I've now repurchased this twice. So this is my third bottle. It is $65 for one ounce, but the one ounce will last you about a half a year. It lasts you a really long time, but this stuff is phenomenal. I, I don't care what moisturizer or eye cream you put on after this. It's this makes the difference. So I could only use this and use the most generic moisturizers for the rest of my life and I feel like my skin would be great because this makes such a difference. My camera overheated but we're gonna get right back into my stars and strikes for skincare. So a couple of stars are going to be my Time Balm Cranberry Invigorating Eye Cream. Super love this stuff. You can tell I used a whole bunch of it. This is really nice for the under eye area to wake you up, to de-puff. I really like the balm. I like this particular eye cream. And then one of my very favorite lines is the Yes To lines. Now I have the Yes To Coconut. It's like a hydrating under eye and hydrating face. That's like a souffle butter, body butter. It's intense. Also I have a blueberry one that I think is for de-puffing under the eyes, but this is the soothing eye gel from them. This is their Yes To Cucumber line. And this is their sensitive daily calming moisturizer. Also their cucumber line. I have a backup of this already. I've repurchased these both a ton of times. These are really nice. This one is very cooling for underneath the eyes for deep puffing. I usually keep this one in the fridge. This one is my morning moisturizer. This one does not have SPF in it, but almost all of my foundations do. So I don't really worry about that. They do have one with SPF though, I believe. And this one just feels really nice in the morning to give your skin a little bit of moisture after you wash in the morning. So these guys are a favorite as well. So now on to my strikes. I don't have too many, but I do have a couple of face masks I wanna talk about. Glam Glow, any of them. I do not think that these are worth the price point at all. I have not found anything so phenomenal about these face masks that I feel like I need to pay the amount of money they want you to pay for these bad boys. It's ridiculous. So Glam Glow in general is a big old no. I'll use samples and stuff, but nope. The other one I'm gonna go ahead and throw in there is the Freeman masks. I pulled out the facial peel off cucumber one, which is almost empty. And I'm also going to include in this the black sugar scrub that I threw away. I didn't even keep it for an empty. I got so mad that I threw it away. That was in a project that I will link up above and I hated it. If you really want an affordable face mask, then these are fantastic, but find the right one. I have almost every single one of them. They're not all winners, guys. This one, I don't feel like does anything. This is one of the peel off ones. I don't feel like this makes a difference to my skin 
whatsoever. Get the right one, do a little bit of research, figure out which one you really need as opposed to just buying them all because they're affordable because they take forever to go through. I just don't think they're worth it even at the low price point unless they're gonna work for you. And then because you guys know I love my rose waters, I have the Jurlesque, Jurlique Rose Balancing Mist. This thing I got in a sample from Sephora. I think it was like a Best of Sephora. These are expensive, man. This is like a pricey product. This is like a heavy glass bottle. And I just didn't think that it was worth the price point. I prefer my Mario Badescu over this. I think you're paying for the glass bottle. You're not really paying for the product. I don't think there's anything that special about it. So this is a no for me. Pretty much anything from Belief. This is their Hungarian water essence. It was a serum, but it was like a serum lotion. Didn't compare to my Peter Thomas Rolf, didn't compare to some of my other lotions. It was just a watery aqua based hydrator. I have tried under eye creams from them, face creams from them. The under eye cream was not that bad, but again, the price point, not worth it. Came in a gift set that somebody gave to me and I don't think they're cruelty free anyway. So just don't think they're worth the price. Another one that I don't think is worth the price is the Kate Somerville. This came in a subscription service. This one is their goat milk moisturizing cream. I don't care what it is not worth the price point that you're going to pay for Kate Somerville anything. So I finished this entire thing up and didn't see any kind of a difference or improvement in my skin over any other moisturizer that I've ever used. And the same can be said for the majority of high-end items uh, personally that I have tried. That has been my stars and strikes for skincare. I would love to know what yours are down below. Please do check out my co-creator Claire as well as all the other amazing women that are taking part in this collab. The dates for all of the other videos are down below. If you'd like to join us, you can hop on in at any time. I hope you have enjoyed hearing about what I use for skincare on a daily basis. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye guys.